Hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a view and demo on the CoverGirl True Naked Goldens and Nudes. I picked these up at CVS. They were $14.99, but I had a few coupons and cash back and things like that. So they came out, I think I paid $16 for both of them, which is Pretty decent, it'd be eight dollars, so I'm down with that. So on the packaging, uh, it says right here, shades like a leading fifty dollar eyeshadow palette, aka Urban Decay. I'm okay with it. I had the Urban Decay one and two, um, but I've given them away to people, so I don't have them for comparison today. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with what they did look like. So I'm just going to go and show you what these look like. If you don't have either of the Urban Decay palettes, I would highly, highly suggest getting these. They are amazing. I really like them. I just wasn't getting any, I wasn't using my Urban Decay naked palettes as much as I should have. They're big and bulky and these are tiny and can travel. So I feel like I may use these a lot more. We will do the goldens. There are shade names on the back. This first one is called Cream. It's just a really light beige color. The second one is called Chiffon. It is a little powdery golden shimmer. Third shade is called Cookie and it is a matte um, warm brown, light warm brown. The fourth shade is called Sunkiss. It is very soft, very powdery, but very pigmented, a really pretty golden color. Next in here is Camel. Very, very soft. It is almost like a brown with a green or yellow, a golden hint to it. It's very pretty. Next is Ginger. It is um, a bronzy metallic color. Second to last is Erku. I'm not sure. Ekru? E-C-R-U, a deeper brown with another golden yellow color. And last in the palette is called Sierra. It is a satin, deeper brown shade. Very pretty, very pigmented. The only shade in here I'm not very fond of is the second one called Chiffon. Um, you can use it as a topper, but it's not very pigmented on its own. Then this is an overview of the nudes. It is more cool, more like um, the Urban Decay Naked 2. Very cool shades, a little cooler browns than in uh, the golden palette. Their shade is called Bath, a reflective, really light white color. Next shade is called Shell, more of a cream matte. Next in here is Champagne. Very powdery, um, more of like a pinky, very light pinky metallic color. Next shade in here is Fawn. It is a cool light brown. It's a great transition color if you like cooler shades. Next shade in here is Mink. It is metallic rose colored brown almost. Next shade in here is Coco. It is a very pigmented, matte, very soft, cool brown. I really, really like that shade. Next shade is Coco. It is a warm brown. It is a brown with almost a red or purple undertone to it. Very pretty. And the last shade in here is called Sable. I wish it was just a little bit better for a matte black. It's not as soft and as pigmented as it could be, but it still works nonetheless. Alright, so let's get into the actual makeup part. 
I'm going to be using both of these in this just because this has a really good base and really pretty glitters and then they both have really good crease shine so I'm going to be using both of these to get it. Starting off with the L'Oreal Magic Decrease Base. It is a drugstore base. It has a good coverage in it so it's the only drugstore eyeshadow primer I have at the moment. I need to get a few more in time. Priming is done. Now I'm taking a Dom Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. And the second color in the Nude palette, which is called Shell. Appropriate name. I'm doing just going to dust this all over just to set this, just to set the primer and to have a good smooth base to transition all of our eyeshadow. Next I'm taking a crease brush and this is from the Sonia Kashuk Fascinating um, set that's out right now and taking the third shade in the golden palette which is called Cookie Biscuit. Our cookie just going to start working it into the crease and I like to have mine a little bit above the crease just because I have hooded eyes so you can actually see it when I look forward you can see it right there Taking another Sonia Kashuk brush, this is just the regular crease brush that's in the regular line, and going in with this shade, this shade called Coco in the Nudes palette. I'm just darkening up the crease a little bit more. Again, this is more of a cool brown. Just mixing it up in here. I'm just going to take a clean brush and just buff this out. This really pretty gold in the golden palette. It is sun kissed. Shadows are a little powdery, but I don't really have any fallout right now, so that's good. I'm going to take this deeper shade called Ginger. That's what I call my car. <laughs> She's orange. <laughs> and just packing that in the outside just to kind of deepen it up. Going in with a um, MAC 217 and picking up the last shade over here called Sierra. It is just a really deep brown. It's starting to work it deep in the crease. And in the outer V a little bit. Now we're beginning to lose a lot of the gold. I'm just going to go in with my finger. Same cast. Picking that up with my finger. And just placing it where I want it. Yeah. Now I'm just going to take this flat angle brush by Morphe and the last color in the nudes palette called Sable and just do an eyeliner with it. Alright, 
that is it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna finish my face and I'll be right back. So that is the look I came up with today using these. Um, I really like these. I think they're going to go into everyday use. If you've seen these, let me know if you've picked them up, if you're gonna pick them up, what you think about them. Um, or if you already have the Urban Decay palettes, how do you think they compare? So yeah, so that is it. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps. Um, if this is your first time checking out my channel, I hope you subscribe. I'd love to have you. Please leave me a comment. I just love interacting. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.